When was the last time you saw someone being bullied? What did you do? Whose side were you on? If you helped the person being bullied, then you were on their side. But did you know that if you stood by and watched and didn't do anything to stop the bully, then you were actually helping the bully? Being a bystander is almost as bad as being a bully. A bystander is someone who sees something happen but doesn't do anything about it. But there are things a bystander can do to stop a bully. In this program, we'll show you how. Now, a bully can be a person you least expect. Steffi and Kayla are hanging out with their friend Denise. Denise decides to text another girl, Amy. Denise says some real mean stuff to her. Amy will never figure out who this is. Why don't you want Amy to know that it's us? Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Denise! Wait, it'll get better. Watch. She doesn't know it's you. <laughs> Told you. What if she finds out it's us? She'll never know unless one of us tells her. And you won't, right? I won't. I won't. I won't either. Good. Kayla didn't feel good about what Denise was doing. Denise was harassing Amy and being a bully. Kayla felt guilty just standing by and watching it happen. Are you okay? You look kind of upset. Yeah. What's wrong? Promise you won't tell? You can trust me. Someone texted me last night and they threatened me. Like they said that they were gonna hurt me and that I need to watch my back. Oh, really? Do you know who it was? No, but I'm scared. But don't be, it's probably just a joke, you know? Okay, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let's go, we're gonna be late for band rehearsal. Be right there. I'm sorry about all of this. I'm sure you'll be fine, okay? So, why were you talking to her? Come on. Now, Kayla had a problem. She didn't want to tell Amy who's behind the threatening text messages, but if she didn't do anything, Denise would just do it again. Then, she'd feel just as guilty as Denise. She decided to see what Steffi thought about it. Hey, Steffi, do you think what Denise said to Amy was wrong? The text? Yeah, I wanted to tell her to stop, but you know, I was afraid to say something to her too. She told me she's gonna do it again tonight. Well, what if the Bulls of Us told her not to? She has to listen to the Bulls of Us. Yeah, right, because she always does whatever she wants. Well, it's worth a try. How could she not stop when her two best friends are telling her to? I guess if you start the conversation, I'll go along with it. It's not going to be easy. Hey guys, what's up? We actually have to talk to you about something. What? Steffi said you were going to message Amy again tonight. Yeah, and it's going to be so funny. Well, maybe you shouldn't. What are you talking about? You think it's funny, right? Yeah, but, but it's what? not. It's harassment. You're being a bully. Well, you guys were being bullies too. You are both there. I know, but we decided that we don't want to do it anymore. It's too mean. Amy didn't even do anything to us. Yeah, I think we could just leave her alone. Really? We're still your friends. Yeah, nothing could change that. Fine, I won't do it anymore. I promise. Denise kept her promise and left Amy alone from then on. Kayla and Steffi did it. They stopped the bullying together. If someone you know is being a bully, don't stand by and watch. Get a friend or two to help you stand up to the bully. It works. Sometimes, bullies don't listen when you ask them to back down. That's what happened to Rob when he joined the Towns League. Rob thought it would be fun. Unfortunately, not everyone on the team got along. These two guys, Jordan and Mike, picked on Rob every practice. What bag is this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, not cool. Don't snitch on us, Kevin. Shh, here comes. Have any of you seen my bag? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Watch this. Ow! <laughs> Mike and Jordan thought they were funny. They not only vandalized Rob's property, now they purposely hurt him. They were being bullies. Kevin felt that he should stop them, so he tried talking to them. <laughs> hey, knock it off! Weakling! You should join another team. Hey guys, what do you want? Uh, don't you think you were being a little too hard on Rob? Uh, are you sticking up for him? I just think you should leave him alone. Well, do you know what I think? What? I think you should leave us alone instead of our business. Or maybe you'll be next. Kevin needed to try something else. Kevin figured that Mike and Jordan couldn't bully Rob if he wasn't right there in front of them. What if Kevin was able to help Rob walk away? Can you stop it? What? You're so weird. Come on, my dad's here. Let's go. They could be real jerks, huh? Tell me about it. When Rob wasn't right in front of the bullies, they couldn't bother him. Sometimes, it's hard for people to ignore a bully when they feel alone. But, by helping Rob, he gave the power to walk away from the bullies when they were being mean. The bullies didn't bother Rob so much after Kevin helped him walk away from them. So, if you see someone being bullied, try to help them like Kevin did. It might just work. What can you do when you're too nervous to speak up in front of other people and you can't help someone walk away from a bully? That's what Alex had to figure out during a classroom project. The teacher assigned Alex, Jenna, and Kayla to work on a project together. But Jenna wasn't too happy about Kayla being in the group. She teased and taunted her all the time. Jenna was a bully. Kayla, could you be any sloppier? Sorry, Jenna. No one's going to be able to read that. You're going to the whole project. Is it really that bad? Anna, look at it. A monkey could write neater than her. At first, Alex thought Jenna would be tired of bullying Kayla, but she only seemed to get worse and worse. I'm almost done with my section. Me too. I think I'm going to need more time, guys. I didn't get to work on it last night. I had voice lessons. What? Kayla, it shouldn't take you that long. It's okay. Miss Cruz says we have till the end of the week. Kayla's so dumb. She'll probably never finish it. Sorry. Jenna wasn't letting up. Kayla couldn't stick up for herself, so Alex knew she had to do something. But what? She was too nervous to say something in front of everyone else. She couldn't help Kayla walk away, because they all had to work in the same group. But then, Alex saw an opportunity. Jenna was alone. Alex could talk to her without anyone else around. Hey, Jenna. Hey, what's up? Well, I know you don't like Kayla, but maybe you can try being a little bit nicer to her? Why? She's so annoying. Well, we have to work together, and I think it will be easier if you didn't tease her so much. It makes you look like a bully and kind of makes me feel weird. Really? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Telling someone that they see them as a bully might get their attention. Most people don't want to be thought of as a bully. It worked for Alex. Jenna listened to what Alex said. She stopped being a bully. She left Kayla alone, and the group was able to complete the project without any more problems. Try talking to a bully alone, away from other kids. They'll be more willing to listen to you that way. And you don't have to worry about speaking up in front of a crowd. You can just do it. So far, all the situations we've seen have been pretty safe, and none of the kids were in danger of getting hurt. But some bullies are out to hurt people, and if you get involved, they could hurt you too. 
In situations like that, you shouldn't try to stop the bully by yourself. Bill was in the boys' room when he overheard some kids he known planning to beat up Jim, another kid in their class. When should we do it? Today, right after school. That kid deserves to get pounded. All right, I'll hold him down. You punch him. Yeah. Bill wasn't friends with Jim, but he knew Jim was in danger of getting seriously hurt. Bill wanted to do something, but what? He couldn't stand up to George and Nick by himself. He may get beat up too. So he decided to go get a higher power, his teacher. The teacher put a stop to the bullying before it even started. Jim didn't get hurt, all because of Bill. And no one knew that he was the one who wrecked the bully's plan. The teacher kept it a secret. Letting a teacher or an adult you trust know about bullies isn't tattling, it's doing the right thing. Jim could have gotten hurt if he didn't say anything. You can save someone from getting hurt too. Today, you've learned that you shouldn't stand by and watch someone being bullied. Because not doing anything about a bully is just as bad as being a bully. Kids need to watch out for one another. Bystanders can put a stop to bullying. And we showed you how. You can get a friend to talk to the bully with you. You can help the person being bullied walk away. You can talk to the bully one-on-one. -on -one. You can tell an adult you trust. Bullying is wrong. And it should be stopped. You can do something about it. You should do something about it. So remember, don't stand by. Stand up to a bully.